Colorado. Season opens tomorrow. Just getting my gear all situated here. I'm gonna shoot a few arrows, make sure the bow's still dialed in. And then I'm gonna hit the trail. Camp one will be in the same spot where I scouted. Hopefully I can turn up that big wide buck again. If not, we'll just keep moving in until we find a good one. Stay tuned. Here's what 12 days worth of supplies in a backpack looks like. able to turn up the big buck this morning but there was another decent buck that was feeding right above my camp and he kind of had me pinned down because he was only like 140 yards away and he was just feeding around all morning right above my camp so I didn't want to spook him out so I just stayed in camp all morning and just watched him but he ended up going up and over the ridge and I lost sight of him This other basin a little bit later in the morning and haven't really turned anything else up so I'm just gonna go get on this ridge line and run the ridge and peek into some more basins and see if I can't find any other bucks.
morning and day two here in the back country of Colorado. Yesterday I hiked all the way over to this other drainage. It took me about half the day to get over there, half the day to get back. I ended up turning up five bucks in that basin, none of which were ones I'm real interested in. I took a little bit different route coming back and I ended up spotting one of the four points that I scouted about a month ago. He looks like a nice buck. I think he's probably like my third choice buck from the ones that I saw during scouting season. This morning, he's the only buck that I've seen so far. The only one that I'd shoot at least. He's with two other bucks and they're both decent bucks, but I'd really just like a good mature four point. That's kind of my goal. I'm gonna just keep watching them and hopefully the good one beds in a good spot and I can make a play on them. So let's see what happens. Well, as I was just sitting here glassing, the buck from yesterday that was above my camp came running by at like 40 yards. I was about to shoot him. just been watching that buck all day and he's just been bedding and getting up and feeding and then re-bedding and he's done that about three or four times now and he finally just re-bedded in the same bed that he was in the last time he got up so I think he'll stay there so I'm gonna loop around the basin and get above him I'm gonna work down slowly I'm I don't think I'll be able to shoot him in his bed. He'll probably have to get up and feed, so I might be sitting over there for quite a while before something happens, but you never know unless you try. drop my pack and boots and the wind just started swirling all over the place and then I just heard some deer bounding off so must have spooked them I don't know if it was the wind or they saw me or what this spot is a lot closer to where they were bedded than I thought it was I thought it was like a hundred yards out it ended up being about 60 so they probably saw me and smelled me. On to the next ones. All that water came from this seep right here. 14 liters total. Should get me through the next few days. Buck 
bucks. I stopped yesterday. They're on my side of the hill and they're headed my way. So I'm gonna try to cut them off. I don't know where they're headed, but looks like they're coming straight for me. So kind of pinned down in the open here. I'm kind of waiting for them to go by in this lip and then I'm gonna take off after them. All right, well that almost worked out perfect. I ended up cutting those bucks off. The trail just went, took me right to them. When I first saw them, they were at 80 yards, just feeding in some willows. They had no idea I was there. And I snuck about 10 yards closer. I was at about 70 yards. And then I was just waiting for my opportunity. And for whatever reason, the big buck just looked uphill at me. I don't think that they winded me. My wind wasn't perfect, but it wasn't blowing straight to him. And I know he didn't hear me because I wasn't moving. And he, mu he must have just saw me. I was sitting in the shadows and he was in the sun, so I don't know how he could have seen me, but he must have. I must have just been shaken as he was staring at me and for whatever reason he did not like what what he saw and they took off so pretty unfortunate thought that was gonna be my opportunity to get a high country buck but I'm sure there will be more opportunities we've got a lot of time left so not too worried about it man that was that was an epic experience though I love getting close to velvet mealies in the high country then <laughs> that is what this is all about to me i love it oh man that was awesome it's calling me Pretty discouraging that it's day three now and I haven't even located any of the big bucks that I scouted. Usually the hard part about a bow hunt is getting close to the deer, not finding them. Finding them is usually the easy part. So now I really have my work cut out for me since they're making it damn near impossible to even find. I'm not even sure what to do next, quite honestly. Guess I just gotta keep grinding. Maybe something good will happen. There's a rabbit right outside my tent. 
We got some new developments this morning. Spotted a lot of new bucks. There was a, three bucks above my camp this morning and they got spooked out of there by a coyote that was feeding on a dead carcass. And then I spotted another group of bucks um, where I haven't even seen deer before. It's kind of towards the trailhead and there was already another hunter stalking them. And it looked like there was two shooters in that group. And then I came over and glassed the drainage I've been hunting. And I spotted two of the same three bucks that I've seen. Um, one's up at the head of the basin. And one, it, which is the four point that I stalked yesterday. He's across this big drainage. And I didn't see exactly where either one of them bedded, but... I know that they're still in the general area of where I last saw them. So I'm probably going to go grab my camp and move it across this drainage. I need to start getting into some more deer. I mean, it's day four. I need to, I need to start finding more, more bucks and more shooter bucks if I'm going to have a chance. So. Got camp number two all set up. Now I'm gonna go climb that hill behind me. I'm gonna try to relocate that four point from this morning. Let's go. Well, I sat down there for four hours in the, in the last place that I saw the buck. I have no idea what happened. He still hasn't fed out yet if he's still in there. My wind was good most of the time until it started to get shaded. And then the thermal started switching. So I wouldn't be surprised if he winded me, but I never heard him bust out of there, so he could still be in there. I have no idea. Regardless, I'm making my way up to this ridge so I can look down into this drainage. 
Let's see if we can't find another buck. This basin is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. There's gotta be a big buck in there. about to write this basin off. I was starting to think nothing lived in here. I spotted five bucks across the basin here. They blended in so well with that hillside. They're big gray bodies. But well, a couple of them look like really nice bucks. And the one, I don't know, I'll have to get a better look at them in the morning. Hopefully I can spot them in the morning. But the one looks like the second biggest buck that I scouted. But he is a really, really long ways away from where I saw him during scouting season. So I would kind of be surprised if it is the same buck. But regardless, he looks big. And that keeps me optimistic for the mornings. Call me. 